Hello everyone and welcome to Dino Outdoors. In this video, I'm going to do a full review on this Noco Gen Pro 10x3 battery charger, as well as show you how to program it. So let's begin. All right, let's get this open up. Take a look at what's inside the box. Looks like it comes in another box here, plastic wrapped. Stand her up, pull the cover off here. And in another box inside of another box here, it's like Christmas time. All right, so it's wrapped in a nice foam padding here. package nice in this foam. All the wires are inside of another box compartment here. Set that off to the side. Don't lose the mounting screws. All right. Definitely like how well it was packaged in that foam wrap so no damage can occur when shipping has three six foot charging cables with built in inline fuses as well as an ex as well as your plug it's rated at 10 amps per bank this unit's rated IP68 so it's 100% waterproof this unit is similar to the Gen 3 only it's 27% smaller and delivers 33% more power there are three charging modes. You have 12 volt, 12 volt AGM, or 12 volt lithium. So you can program each battery independently. You might have two lithiums in one starting battery, that's an AGM, or just a lead acid. One nice feature with this Noco is it does detect down to one volt. So we'll begin charging even a dead battery. It also features a repair mode, so if your battery is fully dead, you can plug this in and it should start repairing your dead battery. This unit measures 10 and a half inches wide by 8.1 inches high and 2.8 inches thick. Installation is a breeze. Just run the positive lead to the positive on the battery terminal and the negative to the negative. With these inline built-in fuses, it makes it very simple and quick. Now we'll go ahead and plug the unit in. Hoping these lights show up on here. So to program it, you press the button in to the mode that you want to get. And a little light will appear. So you got 12 volt, 12 volt AGM, lithium, or 12 volt repair. We're going to be on the 12 volt. This is just a lead acid battery. Once it detects it, you're going to see the LED status here show up. So programming is very simple. Just determine what battery you want. It's a little hard to see under these light conditions here. I don't know if the LEDs are picking up. They're not super bright on here. But just cycle through the mode until you find which battery you're using. And then just let it sit and it'll detect the battery and it'll start charging automatically. Once the battery is fully charged, you're going to see a green LED light up and start pulsating. There's also advanced diagnostics on this. It's got a high voltage, bad battery, reverse polarity, and a standby mode. One other nice feature, it does have an auto memory, meaning that when you unplug it and you go to plug it back in, you do not have to set the mode of the battery. It'll automatically uh, detect and know what type of battery it was currently uh, plugged into. Mounting this to your boat is a breeze. Uses two screws, one slot on the far left, Another slot on the right. Very quick installation. Just run the charging cables to the batteries, plug it in, and select what type of battery you have, and it's off to charging. So here's a look at it installed now on my boat. I do have it hooked up to two lithium batteries. I have the one battery charging right now. And I'm gonna 
And I'm just about to show you guys how to program the second battery. So on Bang 2, I have a lithium battery. As you can see, there's a little like power button symbol here. That's showing me that it's not charging the battery yet. It's ready to be set to the type of battery that you have and it'll begin charging. So we're gonna press the mode button here. There's 12 volts, 12 volt AGM, and then lithium. And we'll let that sit. It'll locate the battery. And now you can see it has begun charging that second bank that I have installed. One thing I do want to mention about the NOCO charger here, uh, the charging cables are only six feet long, they're rather short. So make sure that when you're installing this, you place it in the location. If you have a three bank system here, that the two banks are close to the charging station here. And that third bank that's gonna need a longer cable uh, is the furthest one away. So I contacted NOCO and they told me that you can add an additional 10 feet a 14 AWG after the fuses here. I just have these taped up right now on the ends here because I'm not using this bank. This is the third bank, which I'm gonna run back to my starting battery. But you can clip the ends of these um, cable connectors off here after the fuse and run an additional 10 feet of cable, which should be long enough to get back to my starting battery. And they told me that would not void the warranty. So just be sure and check with them before you guys go and do that. I don't want to end up causing anybody with a warranty invalid, but that's what they told me when I talked to them uh, late in the last few days here. So why they don't just sell an extension cable, I'm not sure why. I asked them and they said they weren't in the works of getting them either. So that is one thing to consider when purchasing your NOCO Gen Pro. Um, just be sure and make just make sure that you got that charger installed where if you need to, you can run an additional 10 feet of cable and that'll be plenty long because they told me not to go over the 10 feet. This unit's very easy to install. Just uh, basically mount it where you want it. Hook up your charging cables with the built-in fuses. Select the mode of your battery type and it'll begin charging. When all of your batteries are fully charged, all you have to do is unplug it and you're finished. This can stay inside your boat, 100% waterproof. Making it a lot better solution than getting out your battery charger, hooking it up to each individual battery for a few hours till that's charged. Take that off, hook it up to the next battery, charge that one. This here, you're charging all three or four or two batteries, how many ever batteries you have. They do make a four bank as well and a two bank. It's charging all your batteries at one time, so you're ready to hit the water the next day. If you guys have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. If you guys have this particular charger installed on your boat, please let us know how you like it. And if you've had any issues with it, please let us know that as well. As always, thanks for watching, and remember to get outdoors with Dino. We are, we are reaching for the stars, but we're